Hey guys, it's Maddie, and I'm sitting here right now with uh, with Sophie. I don't know if you guys can see her very well, but Sophie is my best friend, and the reason she's my best friend is because she loves me unconditionally. You know, she uh, she doesn't judge me um, when I came out and I told her that I was trans. Um, she was cool with it. She uh, she doesn't care if I am male or female or a purple alien or, you know, whatever, so long as I give her belly rubs and treats and, you know, love her and give her attention. Um, and she does the same for me. She She loves me unconditionally. And the reason I'm, I'm bringing this up is because I want to talk to you guys about you know, things that you should never tell somebody who's trans. And specifically, I want to go over some things that I've been told um, lately, um, especially by like my family and things like that. You know, I I'm sure they don't mean to be hurtful, and I'm sure they mean well in their own right, in their own way. Um, but sometimes some of the things they say to me are incredibly hurtful. And I don't think they realize just what kind of an effect that that has on me. Starting with, I guess, the first one um, that I hear most often and that it really makes me feel bad about myself is that I've had, you know, a lot of family members tell me that, you know, the reason this is so hard on them is because it's, they view it and they, they tell me that it's like I'm killing the old person um, who I used to be and... I'm bringing into their lives this new person who they don't know anything about, they don't know at all, and they're not good with that because they can't handle a death in the family. Like, I'm, I'm some kind of murderer who's, who's killing somebody in our family and just replacing it with somebody else who they don't know. Um, you know, kind of like, like a bad sitcom or something like that where an actor or actress leaves the show and then all of a sudden they just put in this new person and um but but that, that that's what they tell me and the reason it's so hurtful to me and why I don't think you should ever say this to somebody who is trans is because you know I struggle with my identity and who I am on a daily basis and some days it's easier for me than others and some days it's really hard and one thing I've always felt um I I felt a lot of guilt for coming out and for putting my family through, you know, possible pain and, and all these problems, I always felt guilty about it. And when they tell me that, that I'm killing the old me and this old person, that makes me feel even more guilty. Uh, it makes me feel guilty for trying to be who I am. It makes me feel invalidated, like the way I am now isn't good enough. I'm not as good as the way that I used to be. Um, but but they keep telling me this, and I, no matter how much I try and explain this to them, you know, it's the line they always keep going back to, you know, time and time again, is that I'm killing the old me, and that's the part they're not good with. You know, even though I am the same person I have always been, um, I'm just expressing that more freely and more openly now and uh, I guess it, it makes me feel like they're like like they really don't like me because this is really who I am I'm no longer hiding behind anything so I think viewing a transition that someone is going through um, as a death of the person that you knew is the wrong way to look at it and I think when you tell that person you know that specifically it's extremely hurtful and damaging and I cannot even count the number of times that I have cried myself to sleep over the past couple weeks because people in my family keep telling me this and it really really hurts the other thing I'm getting told a lot um, is that uh, God doesn't make mistakes and they don't agree with what I'm doing because of that um, religion has always been a big factor in my family I would say that my family is pretty conservative overall. Um, you know, when, when I was growing up, we used to watch um, the Ellen show. Um, not not the talk show that she has now, but the uh, the sitcom that she had, um, you know, years ago. 
And when she, when Ellen came out as gay, um, my mom made me and my sister you know quit watching the show because we couldn't watch a show with a gay person in it. And so that might give you a little bit of insight um, as to the background and the way that I was raised and I grew up. Um, but I keep being told by my family and and various people that God doesn't make mistakes, and you know I'm the one who one day is going to have to answer for what it is that I'm doing. And I don't know. I I, I don't want to get into my religious beliefs or how I feel, you know, specifically about that topic because I want to keep, you know, this channel and these videos, um, is free from you know religious and politics and those types of issues as I can. If there is a God, I certainly think that he's made a whole lot of mistakes. Um, and you can tell that just by looking around you at different situations and different people. Um, you know, there's intersex people. Um, if, if if there is a God and he made men and women, what, what's going on with intersex people? Um, that, that doesn't seem to fit into the, the narrative. And so I, I just use that as an example to explain that, you know, there are a lot of different people and a lot of different situations and the world is not black and white. But my family keeps using this line on me, you know, God doesn't make mistakes and I'm going to have to answer one day for what it is I'm doing. And that makes me feel, you know, guilty and, you know, not good enough. Um, which are certainly feelings that you should not, you know, go out of your way to invoke upon somebody who's already dealing with their gender identity and who they are as a person because by the very nature of me being trans, I already think I'm not good enough and I'm worthless and I have these feelings. And so when you say things like that, you know, it doesn't do anything to help the situation. Um, I, I'm convinced that Nobody would actually transition genders, um, you know, knowing what I know now and the experience I've had and the ups and downs and how bad it can be sometimes. Nobody would transition genders unless they had to, unless it was something that they knew they had to do or that was just going to be it, you know, like I, I, I don't think anybody would, would sign up for it willingly, um, you know, just, just on a whim and for the fun of it. You know, they also keep saying a lot of things like, why now? It doesn't make any sense. Why would you, why would you tell us this now? Why would you do this now when you are, you know, you're 28, I'm almost 30, so it, it, that they don't understand why I'm doing it now and why I couldn't just be happy um, being a boy or, you know, if I really felt that I was different, why can't I just, you know, dress up as a girl at home or something on the weekends? And it's not about that at all. It's not about the, you know, the dressing up and makeup and stuff like that because those things are basically like a costume. Um, this is not a costume. It's about my body and what and who I see when I look in the mirror um, and the fact that I've never been able to relate or feel comfortable with this body that I have. So it's about that. It's not just about clothes and makeup and, and trying to fool people um, and trying to dress up like a girl because that's not at all what this is, um, you know. And the why now, uh, you know, when that, when they tell me that, I, I just tell them and I say, you know, because of the things that you're saying to me now and the way you're making me feel, this is the reason that I was scared to tell people um, for my entire life and the reason that I didn't and I kept it to myself for so long, um, you know. And it, it appears some of those fears maybe have, I don't know, been validated over the past few weeks. But, um, I don't know, it's, it's just incredibly hurtful. I mean, all I want is for, you know, I'm okay if they don't understand it. All I want, though, is for them to, you know, say something along the lines of, you know, I, I don't understand, but I love you, and I know you're going through this thing right now, and you don't have to worry because I have your back, and I'm going to stand right there with you um, no matter what happens. I was uh, I was told recently, just a few days ago, actually, that, so, you know, the holidays are right around the corner, and um, we're kind of talking about the holidays with my family and stuff, and I was told that, um, you know, my family didn't want me to dress like that, um, like for Thanksgiving and for the holidays, you know, referring to the way I am right now and just the way that I am. 
And uh, so, you know, things like that are incredibly hurtful. And they're starting to make me really, really wonder if I'm going to be welcome, you know, with my family in those situations or what that's going to be like. And if they are, you know, still going to love me after that, I, I don't know. But um, it certainly doesn't make me any more confident in who I am when, the, you know, when, sorry, you know, I, I want to have, I want to have surgery next year. I want to have top surgery. Um, I want to like a breast augmentation middle of next year, hopefully. And I am like 95% convinced that when I do that, that I will be going by myself because my family um, will not be willing to go with me to help me or support me. And I'll have to figure those things out on my own. And that scares me. Um, I don't know. It's just, this has been on my mind a lot lately because like I said, these things have just kept happening over the past few weeks and it's really starting to wear on me. And I know this probably isn't the video that you guys had hoped to see from me. Um, normally I'm a lot happier and, you know, confident, but you know, this is just to show you that for a real person, when you transition, that it's not all, it's not all easy. It's not all, you know, highs and sunshine and rainbows, that there's a lot of, a lot of pain and bad things that come along with it too. And uh, it was just on my mind. So I wanted to kind of share that with you guys, mostly for myself, because I find talking to the camera to be very therapeutic to kind of get my feelings out there. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm so sorry because I know this isn't the video that, that you guys had hoped to see. Um, but, you know, it is what it is because it's how I feel and I want this channel to be, you know, as, as real and as close to my actual life as, as possible. But um, that's really all I have for you guys today. Um, you know, if, if, you, uh, if you like my videos and you want to check out some other ones, um, feel free to go to my channel page and look around. Also, you can press the subscribe button. That would be really awesome. Um, so you get notifications on all my new videos. Um, the last thing is that uh, I actually took the advice of a lot of people and I, uh, I got a P.O. box. And so if you guys want to send, you know, packages, letters, art, you know, whatever you want to send, that's totally fine. I'll open it all on camera. Um, I'll read your letters unless you specify not to. And I'll do it all in video for you guys. So if you want to see your packages and mail opened, um, you can send those to P.O. Box 6103. Um, Lubbock, Texas, uh, zip code 79413, and you can just address them to Madison Kate. And uh, like I said, I will open those, you know, all for you guys right here. And uh, until next time, you guys, be kind and make good choices.